up YouTube and welcome back to my channel Tiffany's trucking journey if you are new to my channel my name is Tiffany and I am a truck driver so today I wanted to kind of show you guys my truck I wanted to give you guys a tour but before I start if you are new to my channel I ask that you please subscribe to my channel hit the bell so that you can be notified and like this video at the end okay y'all so my camera is acting a little funny i tried to turn the camera but i don't know how to kind of turn it the other way but anywho we're going to get into this um tour of my truck so this is a compartment where you can store things and here i have two bags in here one of the bags is um the bag with all of my workout equipment in here like i have a jump rope in here i have my waist trainer and my thigh shaper um, I do kind of work out from time to time. I'm not, I don't work out extremely, but I work out when I can. Um, this other bag here is basically like all of my hair products, what I use, um, on a daily basis so that I can keep myself looking professional and clean. You know, you got to keep yourself looking, looking nice. Okay. This bag is like my shower bag. So whenever I get ready to go and take a shower, I usually just fill it up with like my little shower shoes, um, soap, you know, things of that nature. Everything you need just to take a shower. You guys know. Okay, I also have books. This is like my little diary, y'all. So I do have a diary. Yes, I have a diary. Um, usually I write in here like ideas of things that I want to do and accomplish for next year or this year and also sometimes i write in here with somebody to piss me off you know because i don't like taking my anger out on people i'm trying to work on something new and knowing me when i'm mad i'm gonna let you know about it but i just write it in my book and if it's something bad i don't read it again okay um i do have a book that i read also this is a really good book i'm almost done with it it's good if you like reading books i suggest you get this book you see the name of it right and of course guys i got my bible yeah it's it's kind of torn up but i got my bible all right so that's that side of the truck okay we're gonna close that and excuse me this is my bed okay it's my little humble abode my little bed it's small my tv over there in the corner i haven't had the chance to hook it up um to that little mount there because i don't have the tools but once i get the tools i would definitely put it up that was the tv i had on my old truck when i was um otr and as you guys can see i don't have another bed it's one bed this is a small truck it's an international truck so it's very small okay so we finna go over here to this side of the truck and this is the other compartment and then what i have up here these are just like my little dirty clothes that i have to take home to wash when it's time for me to go home um also i have my shower shoes here i have gym shoes two pairs of gym shoes and then these are like electrical cords and stuff for when i need to plug up my microwave um i'm telling you guys it's really small in this truck it's not big at all okay so it's also a lot of compartments Face up here and here this is where i keep all of my snacks i hope you guys can see all of my snacks go here so when i'm driving i just reach up and i grab me a snack um i don't like hanging a bag on the side some people would put a bag here on the side of their armrest and just reach down and grab their snacks i don't like doing that because sometimes it's hard for me to just get it out of the bag because the bag be all twisted up so I usually just put it up here and it's so much easier to reach. You know, I got gum, chips, I have candy. Oh, I also have my sunglasses in case it's sunny out. Um, this area here is, it looks kind of like where I can kind of hang my, um, I wish I can cut the light on so you guys can see where I can like hang up paper towels and stuff like that. And then this is just another compartment area if I want to put something in here and more little space so like i said it's really a small truck um it's an international it's not that big and i do have like storage containers so let's see let me show you guys my storage container 
Okay. I really wish I could turn this camera, but I can't. Okay, so I got these storage containers from, um, I don't even get down low. Get low, 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 low. Okay, anywho. <laughs> so I got these storage containers from, um, Walmart. It was kind of cheap. It wasn't expensive. Okay, so if you're trying to get some kind of cheap, I suggest you grab these. Okay, so in a container, I have my cleaning supplies. I love this smell of pine salt. It's cheap. It's only a dollar. Okay, I get it from Family Dollars. And then I have my gloves because I like to scrub my floor. I don't like when my floor is dirty. I hate that. Also, in here, I have my little snacks. This is my extra snack cabinet. I love just eating these by themselves. You know, I don't even have to have a salad. I just eat it. I love it. Um, I got my chocolate. I have fruit cups. I have, of course, fruit roll-ups. I get my cereal. Cereal bars. Okay, they're kind of good. And then I have these. These are actually good. So it's just like my little snack bar and my tea and stuff like that. And then down here, I have like my pops, my water, my juices, and then I have these things as well. I don't, I'm, I don't drink coffee like that. Um, I used to drink coffee a lot, but I haven't really drunk coffee in so long since I used to work um, at the post office. Yes, I did work at the post office. I will upload a video about that. But this is so good. Okay, when I'm tired. I just drink this, and I get some energy out of nowhere. I don't know where it came from, but I don't drink a lot of these. I just started. It works. And then I have pop. I have cranberry juices. You know, so I kind of keep my drinks. Um, I try not to spend too much money on food because I want to save some money, you know, so that is the, the name of the game to save. Okay, and y'all, oh, I'm sorry. It's so small up in here. Okay, this is my other container I have over here. So I got two of them in here. So basically, this container here, this is just basically all of my um, feminine products, okay? You know, sometimes you are not able to make it to a um, love so that you can wash up. So it's best to keep wipes. Okay, it's best to keep baby wipes. It's best to keep all type of feminine wipes. Okay, because you want to keep yourself clean and you want to look professional. You want to smell good because you're in this truck. Of course, you're sweating. Okay, so you want to keep yourself looking good. I got my lotions, um, my toothbrush, toothpaste. I have a lot of these. The job give you these. They are antibacterial wet wipes. So I use these for my hands or I use it to wipe down my steering wheel. Um, I also have the spray as well. My aunt gave me this. <laughs> I like this. Okay, and I have tissue. You know, little stuff like that. Stuff that you really gonna need. You know, like toiletries, basically. Okay, and then in this container, I have my bowls. I have my paper plates, and I have more water. I love core water. Core water is my favorite water to drink. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. This is my favorite water to drink, okay? It's really good, and it does keep you hydrated. And yes, I have that big old bottle. And then I have oatmeal. I have a lot of these. You know, you have to have oatmeal. You got to have some type of good breakfast in the morning. I got my little garbage bags. Um, forks and spoons, things like that that you're going to need to eat with. And then in the last part of my container, I have um, like cans of soup. This is one of my favorite um, soups in a can. Jambalaya. I love it. It's so good. I love this soup. It is so good. Um, oh, and my favorite um, Chef Boardy. I don't like ravioli. I love lasagna, okay? <laughs> this is better than the ravioli in the can, okay? I love the lasagna kind. So, I have a little food up in here then. Of course, I got noodles. Who don't have noodles, y'all? I got a whole pack of noodles. I ain't even opened them yet. But, this is just something to hold me over because 
I'm not really on the truck long, so, you know, I try not to spend so much money on food. But if I do want to get, like, some meats and things like that, you know, I do have, like, um, where I can kind of go into the grocery store and just buy, like, a dinner and warm it up in my microwave. Um, I really don't like um, buying a lot of food when I'm out on the road because... When it's time for me to get my check, I want to have a decent check. You know, I don't want to be broke. I want to save. That is the name of the game. You want to save some kind of money. You don't want to spend all your money up on food. You know. Okay, let me get up off this floor. All right. So, um, I also have like a little rug. I have a rug on my truck as well. So, you want to keep like a rug. I have my garbage can. And you want to keep like a little rug on your floor, you know, so that you can feel a little comfortable. And that's just how I feel. I keep a rug on my floor. I don't step back here with my shoes on because I consider that kind of nasty. Because you're bringing a lot of germs in from getting in and out of your truck. Okay, so we finna move back to the front. I really hate that I can't switch this camera over, y'all. Okay, so this is where my microwave is, y'all. It's on my seat. Then I have a suitcase sitting there, you know, with some of my clothes packed in it. So I keep my microwave on my seat because, as you guys can see, my truck is really small. You know, on the inside, I don't have any room. I don't have anywhere to, like, put my microwave. So I kind of have to improvise, okay? It's not bad. You know, I'm not going to complain about it, you know. The front of my truck is fine. Stand wheel area. Okay, that is my tablet. Then I have my mask, so I never forget them when I have to get out of the truck. Um, I do have, uh -oh. I do have more wipes. I don't know if you guys can see it. I have more antibacterial wipes, and then I have hand sanitizer. So you can't really like be too safe. You know, I try to keep as much cleaning products as I can because this coronavirus is very serious. So I try to keep my hands clean of everything. But you guys see, this is my little truck. Um, It might not be that fancy, but, you know, I can't really complain about it. It's okay for me. It's small enough for me. Um, I don't have a fridge yet, but I am planning on getting one. But I'm trying to see where will I put it because I don't have that much room. But what I do have is, bear with me, I have this. Okay, so whenever I stop and I want to get a cold drink or something, I just fill it up with ice or I go and get a cup and I fill the cup up with ice and I just pour my drink into the cup. But normally, like, if I know I want to have a few cold drinks, I'll just fill this up with ice and then put a few drinks in here. So when it's time for me to get them, they're, they're cold. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I try to, I'm going to try to eat more healthier. Um, I tried to get some things that I know is healthy for me because I'm telling you guys, the first time I went out on the road as a truck driver, I was not eating right at all. Like, I was eating a lot of junk food, and I would stop every now and then, and I would get me, you know, a little meal here and there, but I really wasn't eating right, and that kind of took a toll on me. Like, it actually almost shut my body down while I was driving, like, literally. So, as a truck driver, you have to make sure you eat healthy. Make sure you eat your meats. Make sure you eat your vegetables. Make sure you get healthy food because you have to have the energy to keep pushing this truck. You can't just roll and roll and roll, especially off a lot of sugar, because that is not going to help you in the end. So you have to really just eat healthy. That's all that I have that I can really share with you guys. Um I don't really have anything else to show you but what I showed you on this truck. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and um, give it a thumbs up at the end and let me know how you enjoyed it. Leave a comment in the comment section, okay? And my email will be in the description so that you guys can email me any questions about any videos that you want to see next. So 
I'm going to end this video right here. And you guys stay safe and have a good day. Bye-bye.